Hello and uh, welcome to Inlingo Swedish Courses Lesson 2. Today we're gonna continue our uh, small talk conversation uh, with uh, four new elements. Number one, you're going to learn how to ask where someone is from. Number two, what language do you speak? Number three, where do you live? And a little twist on that. Do you live here in town? And number four, how do you say nice to meet you? Okay, let's begin. So, how do you say where do you come from? Varifrån kommer du? Varifrån kommer du? The question word varifrån can also be separated into two parts. Var kommer du ifrån? So you can have one part in the beginning and one part at the end. Var kommer du ifrån? To respond, you say like this. Jag kommer från and then your country. Or your city, if you, that's what's being implied. Till exempel. For example. Jag kommer från Sverige. Jag kommer från Indien. Jag kommer från Danmark. Jag kommer från Pakistan. Jag kommer från USA. Jag kommer från Cuba. Okay, you get the picture. Number two. What languages do you speak? Listen. Vad talar du för språk? Vad talar du för språk? Note that talar, which is the verb, it means speak, can also be replaced by pratar. In that case it would be vad pratar du för språk? When I reply, I use the same verb. Jag pratar svenska. Or jag Talar svenska. I will now say a few other languages in a sentence to, so you can see what it looks like and see if you can see find a pattern on um, about how what we call the different languages, how they end. Jag talar svenska. Jag talar engelska. Jag talar tyska. Jag pratar danska. Jag pratar slovenska. Jag pratar japanska. Jag talar spanska. So as you can see, most languages in Swedish get the ending ska at the end. Svenska. Spanska, tyska. All right? Good job. Let's proceed. How do you ask where someone lives? Where do you live translates in, in Swedish into Var bor du? Var bor du? And I answer with Jag bor i eller or Jag bor på. På is used, for example, for streets, if that's what you want to answer with. E is for cities and countries. Jag bor i Sverige. I live in Sweden. Jag bor i Bangladesh. Jag bor i USA. And so on. If you want to answer with your street name, you say Jag bor på. And then your 
street name. For example, Jag bor på Storgatan. Jag bor på Stortorget. Jag bor på Lilla Vägen 55. Okay? Great. <clears throat> also, if you want to be a little bit more casual, you're making small talk at a party, maybe you start talking from someone and you say, Bodu Haristan. Okay, a little slower. Bur du har i stan. Do you live here in town? Okay? So and that can be answered with a simple yes or no. Yes, ja, ja. Although if you are from the south, which I am, you can also say ja, ja. The dialectal difference. And no is nay, nay. And occasionally na, na. Last but not least, the time has come to say goodbye and to say see you later and nice to meet you. So let's start with nice to meet you. Trevlit at trefas and perhaps a handshake. Trevlit at trefas. And uh, today is Friday. I don't know which day it is for you when you're watching this. But since it's Friday, it's uh, convenient to say uh, have a nice weekend and then we say in Swedish Trevlig helg Trevlig helg Trevlig, maybe you guessed it already, translates more or less into nice Helg is a uh, weekend Alright, that was uh, all for today So I hope you liked it, I hope you learned a few new uh, useful phrases if you liked it, subscribe and uh, make a comment if there's something that you would like to learn more about or anything in general that you're curious about or want to ask. All right, time to uh, go to the weekend and enjoy it. Trevli heli, hej då!